Really? Cut it out! No, you pathetic whelp. I'm showing you just what a hero should be. You're not hero material. So you need to get lost and never come back to the school again. I deserve to be here. I am going to be a hero. Yeah, we'll just see about that. Ah! Oh, oh, man, my head. Enjoying your nap, Nick. Professor Olsen, I, I was just, um... It's time for class. Now come on, let's go. Look, Professor, I don't even know why I even bother going to these classes. I know I'm not wanted at this school, so I should probably just go. Nick, how bad do you want to be a hero? More than anything, Professor. You know that. Then come with me. All of the greatest heroes went to this school. Whether they were Omega-level superheroes or just sidekicks, they all came through these doors. Wow, look at that. They all had to start some Somewhere, just like you. Look, I'm willing to try, but I don't even have any superpowers. So what good am I? Everybody has powers and skills. They just need to learn how to use them. Just because you can't fly around or shoot lasers from your eyes doesn't mean you're any less of a hero. Oh, I'm not going to let anybody get in my way. I'm going to learn how to be the greatest superhero of all time. Well, you can't do that by taking naps in the hallway. Now get to class. Professor Olsen is right. Every hero had to start somewhere. And this is my start. I'm going to be the best hero of all time. Oh, well, if it isn't little Pipsqueak, what are you up to, kid? Minding my own business, Dylan. Just leave me alone. You know, what even are your powers? How'd you even get into this school? From the looks of it, I haven't seen any powers from you. I don't have any. Yeah, I didn't think you did. I mean, who would expect much from a pathetic little weakling like you? I don't need powers to be a hero. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to continue training. <laughs> All the training in the world isn't going to save you from failing out of this place. Last time I checked, I actually had better grades in classes than you, Dylan. Grades? Grades mean nothing when a psycho is trying to burn down the city. A crazy psychopath burning down the city? Hmm, kind of sounds like you, Dylan. You better watch it before I blast that smirk right off your face. All right now, Dylan, come on. Haven't we heard enough from you? Quit picking on the kid. What do you mean quit picking on the kid? You know he deserves it. I told you to get lost. You listen once and you listen close. I will make sure you do do not make it in this school. Hey, are you all right? I'm really sorry about him. He's, you know, a character. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Thanks for uh, sticking up for me back there. I I'm Nick, by the way. What's your name? Nice to meet you. I'm Noah. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you too. It's nice to meet someone that doesn't pick on me or call me a sidekick. Uh, don't listen to any of them. There's plenty of good kids around here. Now, well, look, you might want to get going. I know you got a big day tomorrow. Big day? What's happening tomorrow? Whoa, is that really him? Uh, hey, that that's Spider-Man. All right. Hey, everybody, calm down, calm down. Yes, it is me, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Now, I wanted to come by and tell you all, being a hero is more than just having powers. It's a responsibility. You've all accepted that responsibility coming into this school, and you'll all become great. Hey, you. Uh, me? Yeah, why don't you be the first one to show off your powers? Um, sure. Oh, man, Nick, what are you doing? <sighs> okay. What's there to show off? This loser ain't got no powers. <laughs> What? You don't have any powers. N no, no, I don't. Uh, guys, making fun of people, really not cool. And you, why don't you just uh, leave the assembly? What, me, why? What did I do? Your energy is just kind of killing our really good vibe, man. <sighs> whatever. What he said, Spider-Man, is it's true. I don't have superpowers, kind of useless. That's not true, you're not useless at all. You've gotta just believe in yourself. Well, I'm going to train as hard as I can and I'm gonna be the best hero ever. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now come on, show me what you've got. Ugh, I don't know, Noah. I don't think I'm gonna get the hang of this. It's all right, just take it easy. Watch, nice and simple, you focus and then... Oh, that was incredible. All right, now you try. Okay, okay, I can do this. Just have to focus and... Ha! Did I miss it? D did you see anything? Uh, no. Look, maybe try again. Hey, loser! A little busy here, Dylan. I don't care how busy you are. I can't believe you. You embarrassed me in front of Spider-Man. I embarrassed you? Dylan, you did that all on yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take Nick's side on this one. I'm gonna be honest. You started it. It was just a joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Spider-Man didn't think so either. That's it. You and me right now, we're fighting. No, I'm not gonna fight you. Was I asking you a question? Ow! Oh, oh. Dylan, back off! You're not always gonna have your friend to fight your battles for you. I don't need anybody to fight my battles for me. I can do it myself. Yeah. Oh, what? You think you're so tough now, do ya? You better watch your back. Nick, 
Are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm not gonna let anyone pick on me anymore. I'm sticking up for myself from now on. All right, one more time. Just like Noah said, focus and ha! Huh, nothing, not even a spark. Uh, so stressed out. Why can't I figure out what my power is? Whatever, I'm gonna spend all night here if I have to. Whoa, hey, hey, what's all the commotion going on down here? Whoa, I can't believe it. Uh, Iron Man, is that really you? In the flesh. Man, you're one of my favorite heroes. Ha, huh, thanks. And I have to say, I do not get sick of hearing that. What are you doing here super late at night? I'm trying to figure out what my superpower is. I'm gonna be the greatest hero of all time, but I don't have any powers. Well, you just need to believe in yourself, kid. Or just build yourself an incredible super suit like I did. I'm trying to believe in myself. It's just not easy. Did anybody say being a hero was easy? No. Then you can do this. Just keep going and don't give up. Oh, I just need to keep practicing. Exactly. And you need to learn from other heroes. I mean, look at Hawkeye. He has no superpowers. He can just shoot a bow and arrow really well. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. Uh, what is it with him? Why do all of the biggest heroes love him? Uh, sir, if you don't mind, we have to get going. Doctor Doom is at it again. All right, Jarvis, let's go. Hey, Nick, keep your head up, okay? Good luck with everything. Thanks, Iron Man. Thank you. Oh, that was so freaking cool. I've been trying so hard, training extra hours, studying even, but I just can't seem to find what my power is. Look, just trust me on this. Keep up with your training regimen. We have a lot more work to do. Trust me, I'm not gonna give up. I'm just frustrated is all. I wanna be a superhero so bad, and it's a whole lot easier if you can shoot lightning from your hand or blast fire at people. You're gonna become strong the way you were meant to be. So focus on what you do have and not what you don't have. <sighs> You're right. All right, let's just keep training. I'm gonna focus on what I do have. Now let's go. That's it, that's it. Come on, keep it up. I can do this. Come on, don't give up. I know you can do this. Yeah, but I still don't have my powers. There's nothing. Trust me, Nick, it will happen. It's going to. All right, everybody, I want you to remember that this is training, okay? Just a sparring practice. Don't get too crazy. Now, who would like to go first? Ooh, I would love to go first. All right, Dylan, and who would be your sparring partner? You know, I think I want to spar against my good friend, Nick. Dylan, you know that Nick does not have his powers yet. That's okay, Professor. I'm not scared. I'll spar against him. Well, if you accept, then off you go. All right, Dylan. Are you ready? <laughs> of course. You're about to be toast, kid. Ah! Oh! Ow! Man. All right, Nick, you proved your point. No. No, I haven't yet. <laughs> All right, here's seconds. Ah! Ow! All right, Nick, you've proved your point. Enough of this. No, I haven't proved my point. Not yet. Oh, how sad. After all this time of being here, you're still just as pathetic as day one. I am not pathetic. Yes, you are. You're still a powerless, weak loser. I'm not powerless. I'm not a loser. I'll show you. No! Ah! I, I did it. I have powers. Oh, oh, this is incredible. Let me try this one more time. Ah! Oh, man, this is so cool. See, see, I knew it. I knew you'd be able to, man. I thought for a while I was born without any powers. You know, I thought everybody was right, but I just had to believe in myself. Like you said, I have lightning powers now. I know, man. I'm so proud of you. You know, I mean, you probably have more than just being able to shoot a bolt of lightning. You know that, right? Yeah, you think so? Maybe I can like statically charge my feet so I can fly or uh, create like a bubble of electric energy. That would be so cool. Well, here, why don't you give this a whirl? One of my favorite things to do is be able to charge it up. So check this out. All you have to do, take your hands and rub them together really, really fast. And then, ah! whoa, okay. Like you said, rub my hands together really fast and ah! whoa, that was so cool. Man, there's gotta be so much more you can show me. Oh yeah, this is just the beginning. Don't you worry, we'll figure out what you can do. All right, just have some time between classes. I can probably fit a little more training in right before my next one. Hey, Nick. Dylan, out of my way, man. I'm not going anywhere. Just because you have a little static now doesn't mean I'm gonna do whatever you say. Better be careful, Dylan, because if I get really upset, I might end up zapping you into next week. You know what? I am so sick of everyone liking you more than me. Do you know why people like me more than you, Dylan? It's because I'm nice to people. Maybe you should learn to do the same. I work tirelessly. I train endlessly just for you to get all this credit and praise. And I'm sick of it. Ugh. 
Dylan, look at what you did now! I am going to destroy you! Yeah! Dylan, I am extremely disappointed in you. Do you have any idea how long it's going to take to repair that whole way? Professor, I was just defending myself. Ever since he's gotten his lightning power, he's gone insane. What? That's not true at all. I was the one defending myself. He started it. That's not true. All right, Dylan, I've had enough. I hate to do this, but I have no choice. You are expelled from hero school. What? Oh, you know what? Fine. Nick, I am never going to forget this. Dylan, wait, no. Just let him go, Nick. He's too upset, but he'll learn one day. I cannot believe how far you've come. I'm so proud of you, man. Oh, thank you. It's been a lot of hard work. I mean, you saw how often I was in that training room and you trained with me. None of this has been easy, but glad it's finally working out. This just in, breaking news. The city is under attack. There is a new supervillain in the city and we need help. <laughs> I will take over this city! Dylan? No, what happened to him? Oh, I'm gonna go stop him. I can't wait for anybody else. <gasps> okay, another successful landing. I can't believe how far I've come. I've always known I could be a hero. It's time for me to stop Dylan once and for all. All right, try this one more time. And go! There he is, Dylan! You! I should have known you'd show up. Dylan, all of this needs to stop right now. None of this will stop. You took every opportunity from me, everything to prove my worth. So this is how I'll prove how tough I am, how strong I've become. Dylan, you have a choice. You're going down a dark path. You don't need to follow it. You took that choice from me ever since I've been kicked out. You can change, Dylan. You don't need to be like this. You can still be a hero. It's too late for that. So take in the final moments of this city being free before I take it over. I am not going to let you do that. I'm sorry, Dylan. I have to. Ah! Ah! Maybe you don't want to be a hero, but I do. All right, you got this, Dale. Just focus on what you want. To be Spider-Man. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that loser! Honestly, Dale, that was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Get out of here, Steve. I didn't ask you. I'm trying my best, all right? Well, clearly your best isn't good enough. How did you even get into this school to begin with? Just take this! Ah, hey, what's the matter with you? Dude, knock it off. We're supposed to be heroes here. We shouldn't be fighting each other. You think you're a hero? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're never going to be a hero, Dale. Uh, ugh. I'm sick of these lazy students just lying around. Get out! Of here i gotta clean up uh, i'm sorry oh hey spider-man dale you were not in class earlier today is everything all right uh, i don't know i'm having second thoughts i'm not sure if i'm cut out for this you've got to be kidding me no i'm not i want to be like you so bad more than anything but i just feel like i always mess up how am i supposed to save someone out there if i can't even carry my own weight you think it was easy my first time swinging around the city on my webs absolutely not i face planted more times than i could count you you messed up but you're like a legend well of course i'm a legend now but back then then I was nothing. Just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It's all about the attitude you have, Dale. You can do anything as long as you've got a good mind. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm gonna keep trying my best. I promise. At least I didn't get a concussion or anything. Just so tired. I need a rest, but no. I need to keep practicing and keeping my head up. Come on, Dale. Shoot the web. Come on. Ugh! Are you serious? This sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does suck, idiot. Do you not have anything better to do than just make fun of me? Um, as of right now, no, not really. This is kind of my downtime. Watching you try to be Spider-Man is a joke. You're never gonna be a Spider-Man. Yeah, and you sure won't with that attitude. The number one thing about being him is being a good person, and you're obviously not that. You're pathetic. Just make sure you don't get in my way. You'll probably get in your own way anyway. You know what? I'm starting to get sick of your mouth. Maybe I'll knock you out again, teach you a lesson. All right, all right, that is enough. Golden Spider-Man. Uh, we weren't doing anything, sir. I saw everything that happened. Steve, back off, all right? Stop trying to cause some more trouble. What did you do, tattle on me? No, I didn't say anything. That is enough. Especially after the incident earlier today, Steve, you're on thin ice. What? I didn't do anything. Now you're lying to me. The other students told me what happened. You're suspended for three days for that. You have got to be kidding. No, I can't be suspended. My mind's made. Ugh. Dale, you better be ready when I come. 
come back because you're going to regret this. All right, everybody, calm down, calm down. All right, it's time for our next lesson. We're going to work on your skills and communication. Oddly enough, it's very important for a hero. Sometimes you need to work on calming people down. So that's the skill we're going to practice today. Dale, you're up first, and you have to calm down the angry Hulk. The angry what? Hulk angry. No, 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 calm, calm down, buddy. Uh, uh, we can talk about this. <laughs> Dale, focus on calming him down. Come on. I'm trying. Ah! Oh, man. All right, big guy. Sun's getting real low. Time to calm down and relax. Oh, uh, stupid student. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. How am I supposed to calm that guy down? He's the angriest person on the planet. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to get better at this. I promise. Well, I told you I'd be back. Still as pathetic as ever, I see. Uh, what's up, Steve? I hope you learned your lesson from all of this and we could just finally put our differences aside. Absolutely not. You and I are never going to be friends. Why? We have the same goals. We should all be working together to be the best heroes that we can be. I already am the best hero I can be. Not with that mindset, you're not. You seem a little too cocky, Steve. It's called confidence, Dale. It's something you lack. Yeah, it's because I know that I'm not ready yet and I'm trying to get to that point. I'm going to earn my confidence and I'm going to earn the title to be Spider-Man. <laughs> Still as dumb as ever, too. I'm going to do what I have to do to be the best, and that's what it takes. And I'm going to make sure you'll never be Spider-Man. Being Spider-Man is my dream, okay? I'm going to do whatever I need to in order to fulfill that. You know what? I've been suspended for three days. There's a lot of things I need to catch up on, like payback and putting you in your place. Watch out, Dale. Man, this is a lot harder when there's people like Steve around. No matter what he tells me, I'm not going to listen to him because that's exactly what he wants me to do. I can't give up. Not everything I've been through, you know, especially with my dad back in the hospital right before I lost him I promised him that I was gonna become a hero that's exactly what I'm gonna do I can't fail now you lost your father too huh oh uh, Iron Man I didn't see you there yeah I heard everything and I heard you also want to work really hard is that the truth I just want to be a hero I have a lot of promises that I need to fulfill and I want to do whatever I can to make sure that I do that good it takes heart kid take it from me I had to make my own heart I know what it's like to lose a father it's one of the most difficult things to have to go through but you seem like you already have the right attitude and I want to help you make sure that you succeed wait what? You want to help me? Why would you do that? Well, there was someone else that needed the help to become a hero, and I helped them out. Who? Your very own teacher himself, Spider-Man. You really think he was perfect off the start? Yeah, I know. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. You're right. Good. Training starts tomorrow. Be ready. All right, I'm ready for the first day of training. Good, because it's going to be a long journey ahead. I'm warning you right now. Are you sure you're going to be able to handle it? I'm ready for whatever. Let's start. <sighs> That's it. Keep the form. Don't lose it. Keep up a little bit. You're losing focus. I'm trying. <sighs> wow. I can do it. I can finally do it. See, look at that. You're going to accomplish your dream in no time now and be the best Spider-Man. You're probably better than the last one. You mean that? I know it. Just keep working hard and whatever you do, don't tell the other Spider-Man I said that. I want to be the one that says it to his face. All right, everybody. Today, we're going to be learning some more hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dale, why don't you come up first? All right, here we go. And we need to find someone to spar with, Dale. Oh, come on, please, let me. Steve, are you serious about this? You need to be professional. Yeah, I got this. Oh, man. All right. Bring all you got, Steve. Uh oh You're not ready for this. Huh? Ah! Ow! Oh! No! No, you hit me too hard! Whoa, great defense, Dale. Nice form. Thanks. I've been practicing every single day. No, he's not. He cheated. Dale, I'm standing right here. I can clearly see he did not cheat. This is so dumb. He's the worst Spider-Man ever. Dude, just own up to the fact that I beat you. There's no shame in that. We're all learning here. No, the only one that deserves to be Spider-Man is me, not you. All right, Steve, enough. With that attitude, you're definitely not meant to be a Spider-Man. Get out of my class. Ugh, this is so dumb. Class actually went good today. <laughs> oh my gosh, Doc Ock? Well, if it isn't a little spider out of his web. <laughs> Anyone? Guys, Doc Ock is here. We need, we need backup now. No one is going to help you. Spider-Man and Golden Spider-Man are my captives. And I'm going to take over the school now. Not if I have anything to say about it. You? <laughs> I'm not wasting my energy on a wannabe Spider-Man. Yeah, we're going to find out how real I am real soon. <laughs> you can't defeat me. I'm going to crush all of you impudent spider freaks and your teachers. No, you won't. Ha! Ah! 
Oh, I did it. Wait, Spider-Man. Golden Spider-Man, where are they at? Oh, there you guys are. Oh, man, what did he do to you guys? I gotta save you. I gotta let you guys free. All right, everybody. All right, calm down. Listen, I think as you all know, we were attacked last night by Dr. Octopus. Doctor Octopus attacked us? How is everyone even still here? Unfortunately, he got the jump on me and Golden Spider-Man. But I have to admit, Dale acted like a hero. He saved this entire school. Wait, Dale? That's insane! Yeah, go Dale! Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Boo! Boo, he's pathetic! Alright, Steve. I'm just trying to be a hero, and it seemed like the school needs saving. He's never gonna be a hero. He should be kicked out of this school forever. Steve, you need to leave this classroom right now. Spider-Man, I'm sick of him and his lies. He's pathetic. And I think your attitude is pathetic. Get out. Ugh, who does he think he is? Saving the whole school. Getting all the fame, all the glory. Everyone loves him now. They don't see how stupid and pathetic he really is. He's not better than me. I am going to be the best Spider-Man in this world has ever seen. I'm going to be more famous than Spider-Man. Even better than him. It's time to show the rest of the school how pathetic Dale really is. Where's his uniform? Where does that idiot keep it? Huh, right here. Perfect. <laughs> and with just a little bit of this potion, this will shut down all of his powers. Can't wait to see the look on his stupid face when he tries to swing his web and falls flat on it. Hey, Dale! Oh no, what do you want, Steve? I just want to challenge you to a little friendly competition. That's all. Dale, Steve, this is not healthy. Yeah, I don't have any problems with this guy. He seems to be the one that's always coming at me with new things. Look, I've done a lot of thinking, okay? All I want to do is beat you in this competition, and then we won't have any issues. I'll let everything go, I promise. Fine, let's just hurry up and get this over with. Well, I want to see which one of us has the fastest web swing. I bet it's going to be me. Allow me to go first. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh. Dale! Dale, are you okay? Wait a second. What is that? Sensing something. Uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't swing. My power just wasn't there. It's almost like your uniform is soaked in something. It's like a potion of some kind. I think you've been sabotaged. Steve, did she really do this to me? What's wrong with you? What? Why would I sabotage you? Waste my time. Steve, I have had it with you and your attitude. This will not be accepted. You are permanently expelled from Spider-Man school. Spider-Man, I... No! Enough is enough! Now go! Did you really say Dale was better than me when you were training? Come on, admit it. I did. He was a little bit better. It doesn't matter, guys. What did you guys call me over here for? Well, Dale, this is a pretty big occasion. I wanted to tell you, you've passed all of your classes, but the real test starts now. It's up to you to stop crime and help people in need in this city. Are you ready for that? Of course, I'm more than ready. I've been preparing for this moment for so long now. Well, look Looks like your moment has finally come. Make us and the rest of the city proud, kid. Uh-oh, the fire alarm. Congratulations, sir. It's a healthy baby boy. I hate to tell you, though, your son has superpowers. What? How could that be? We gotta get out of here and fast. Hey, wait up. Oh my gosh, there's fire everywhere. How am I gonna get out of here? Please, someone, someone help. Wait, what? Huh? What? What's happening? Oh, ah! oh. Oh my gosh, my son, he has superpowers. He just saved my life. Haha, <laughs> look at you, you stupid freak. I'm not a freak. Yeah, yeah, you are. You and your stupid superpowers. What, do you think you're special or something, showing them off? Can't really control them. Yeah, well, if you're gonna use them anyway, then I wanna be entertained, all right? Come on, do a trick. No, just leave me alone. Come on, come on, freak, you freak show. Do a trick, you stupid idiot. I'm not a freak. Stop calling me that. Yeah, if you don't do it, I'm gonna tell everyone in school that you're just a liar, all right, Charlie? I just wanna go home. Ah! Nah, you ain't going home until you do the stupid magic trick with your stupid powers. Ugh! They're not stupid! Leave me alone! Ah! Uh-oh. I'm so sorry that this happened, sir. Well, just make sure it doesn't happen again. Keep your kid in line, got it? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm so sorry again. You better be sorry. This city doesn't need another supervillain. Got plenty of them already. But I'm not a supervillain. That's enough out of you, Charlie. Come on. It's time to go home. Listen, Charlie, what you did back there wasn't right. I know, Dad. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be, because just because you have powers doesn't give you the right to do those types of things. Yeah, but he started it. He pushed me first. But you shouldn't be stooping down to his level. You're better than that. You need to take control of your powers and take responsibility over your own actions. I'm trying my hardest, Dad. It's just difficult. I don't really know what to do. What was that? I don't know. Uh, I'll check it out. 
Hey, hey you! Did you just throw something at our house? Yeah, I did. And I'd do it again, too. The city's talking about what your kid did at the park. The whole neighborhood doesn't want you here. No one with superpowers allowed. That's it. I'm calling the police. That's right. You call the police. Have them arrest that freak. Don't worry, Charlie. Follow me. I don't want you anywhere around that guy. Dad, he seemed really upset. All because of me. I'm really sorry. Hey, it's fine, all right? Everyone makes mistakes. The only thing that matters is that we learn from them, okay? The only sad thing is, Charlie, we may have to move out now. But keep your head up, okay? It'll be fine, because I'm going to do whatever I can to protect you. I know you will, Dad. And... I'll make it right. I'm never going to use my powers ever again. No, I never said to do that. Your powers are a part of you, okay? You can't just give that up. Seems like every time my powers come out, it just causes problems. Yeah, obviously people don't know how to react to them. But the only thing that matters is if you're using them for good. And I know you will. You have a good heart. Now look, I gotta go. I gotta go call the police. Okay, Dad. Oh, I don't want to disappoint my dad. I hate seeing him this upset. I'm going to take control of these powers. I'm going to make him proud of me. Please, somebody help me! Yeah, 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 shut up, all right? Give me your money, dude! Oh no, that guy's in trouble. What should I do? The only thing that matters is if you're using them for good, and I know you will. I'm gonna listen to my dad. Hey, you! What? What do you want? Leave that guy alone. Ah! Oh my gosh, that guy went flying! You just saved me! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna take you to the police. You're going to jail where you belong. So this is him, sir. I saw him. He was trying to hurt some guy and steal from him. He's a criminal. I ain't no criminal, man. This guy saw nothing, all right? I was just trying to enjoy my walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all about you, Hubert. Your face is printed all over the police department. You're going to jail. You did a good job, kid. Thanks, officer. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, Charlie, are you all right? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I actually feel pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I know. I can't believe I stopped that guy. Yeah, and most importantly, you use those powers for good. My son, a hero. I've got you right where I want you. Oh, dude, you actually just got me. I can't believe you just won that. I have to say, it's kind of nice doing something normal for once. Yeah, I mean, it's been ages since we hung out, dude. This just in. Breaking news. There's a disaster taking place downtown. There's a building in the city and it's about to fall. Apparently there was some kind of explosion and it's about to collapse and there are people trapped inside. Authorities aren't able to get them out. Will anybody save these people? Sorry, man. Uh, I'll be back later. Charlie, Charlie, there you are. The building is about to fall apart. Please, please, someone help me. Is that my dad? What's he doing here? Oh, no, no. Dad, no. I'm so sorry, dad. I should have been here to save you. I promise. No matter what happens, I'm going to protect people. From now on, I'm really going to be a hero. Hello? Charlie, I want to come and check up on you. How are you holding up? I mean, it's been a couple weeks now. I just really miss my dad. I know, and I'm really sorry, but I actually came here to give you some bad news. Because your parents are both gone, the house belongs to the city now. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? I'm really sorry, Charlie. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm here to give you a couple minutes to get your things, and then I have to ask you to leave. Please, this house is all I have left of my family. I'm really sorry, Charlie. There's nothing I can do. Hey, Dad. It's just me, Charlie. I just lost the house. There's no way I was going to be able to afford it, and the city took it from us. I'm really sorry. I feel like I let you down, and I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. But I promise you, from now on, I'm not going to let anything like that ever happen again. I'm going to be the hero that you always told me to be, and I will make you proud. You'll see, Dad. Change? Please, does anybody have any spare change? Oh, excuse me, sir. What do you want? I'm just really, really hungry, and I'm homeless. Is there any way you could spare some change? No, I'm not going to give you any of my money. Just go get a job, you bum. Trust me, sir. I, I do have a job. Yeah, what is it? Bugging people around the city? Get lost, freak. Hey, I'm not a freak. Man, that guy was a jerk. I do have a job. This is my job. All right. I'm gonna go 
on watch. Help! Help! Somebody please help! Get up, lady! I'm gonna steal your car, dude! Stop! Please! Can somebody please help me? Leave this lady alone! Ah, oh, no, not you again! You know what? Don't make me, alright? I'm not gonna let you stop me again! I'm warning you, Hubert. This isn't gonna feel good. Yeah, what do you mean it's not gonna feel good? <laughs> this guy's a blast! Man, will that guy ever learn? Oh my gosh! Wait, you're a superhero! Um, oh, y yes! That's right, ma'am! I am a superhero! Thank you so much! You really saved me! Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a problem at all. Just part of the job! Well, is there anything I can do to thank you? Maybe take you out for dinner or something like that? That actually would be great. Thank you. I'm Charlie, by the way. What's your name? It's nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm Melissa. Dad! Dad! Paul! What's gotten you so excited? I got into the spelling bee! If, if I win, I'm gonna get some really cool stuff! That's incredible! And you're the smartest kid in your school! <laughs> You'll definitely win! Dad, you're gonna be there, right? I mean, this is a really huge deal! Of course I'm gonna be there! I wouldn't miss it for the world! Where is he at? He should have been here like 10 minutes ago! Dad, where are you? Take this, you overgrown gecko! <laughs> um, Paul, what are you doing out here? Uh, I'm waiting for my dad. He should be here any moment now. The spelling bee is about to start, and if you're not in there, you're gonna be disqualified. I don't know. I don't want to do this without him seeing. Maybe he's on his way, and he's just gonna show up later. Listen, do you want to compete in the spelling bee or not? Yeah, I do. You're right. Let's go. Paul? Paul? Oh, there you are. Listen, I'm so, so sorry I missed the spelling bee. Are you, Dad? Are you really? Of course I'm sorry. I got a last minute call. The city was under attack by some huge lizard. I had to defeat him. People were in danger. Yeah, but you promised, Dad. You promised you'd be there. I know, Paul. I did, and uh, I'm really sorry I missed it, okay? How, how did it go? Look, I did this. I won. It's the first thing I ever won, and you weren't there to see it. That's incredible. I always knew you'd do it. You're so smart, but... Why aren't you excited about winning? I want you to be there to see it. I want my own dad to be there. I promise you, I was on the way to the school when I got that phone call. It doesn't matter anyway, all right? You already missed it. What's done is done, Dad. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Paul, please. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I really broke his heart. I need to do better. I'm Paul's father. I'm gonna be there for him. Hello? Charlie, we have an emergency. We need you right now. But my son, he needs me right now too. It's really bad down here, Charlie. There's some kind of other creature here. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. So glad to see you, Dad. I mean, we haven't had lunch in a while now. I know. I've been uh, pretty busy with work, but I took some time off. I mean, your wedding is coming up soon. Yeah, I know. So many things are going well in my life. I mean, my artwork, it's in a professional exhibit for crying out loud. Like, everything's going great. You're such a talented artist. You've got to show me your work. Why don't we go now? No. No, Dad, it's okay. I mean, knowing you, you you probably have more important stuff to do anyway, right? Do I have a lot of responsibilities? Absolutely. But there's nothing more important to me than you. You are my son. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Come on, I was just gonna head over there anyway, so let's go. Perfect, I can't wait to see it. Paul, you are an absolute genius. I am so proud of you, son. There he is, the infamous superhero of the city, Charlie! I have a few questions for you. Why don't you want to be a superhero anymore? What? What are you What are you talking about? Well, while you were spending the day with your son, a ship sank off the coast and everything was lost. What? No! That's right, you probably could have flown under that ship and pulled it out of the water. Hey, knock it off! It's not my dad's fault, all right? You shouldn't have to be there to fix every little thing. That's what a superhero is being about, kid. What's wrong with you? You need to see some stupid exhibit at the museum? Hey, don't talk to my son like that. I'm just very disappointed in you, Charlie. And so is the rest of the city. Paul, I have to say this is the most beautiful wedding venue I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, 
Thanks, Dad. I mean, it was really nice that you helped me pick it out. And Tammy seems like such a sweet girl. You know, I can't tell you enough how proud I am of you, Paul. Thanks, Dad. I'm just glad you're able to be here for this day. No, you've got to be kidding me. Hello? Charlie, you're needed downtown ASAP. I can't. It's my son's wedding. There are people's lives in danger, Charlie. Are you just going to leave them? I'm, uh, uh... Just, just go, Dad. But I might miss your wedding. It's okay. Just go. I'll be right back as quick as I can. I promise. Paul? Paul, are you still here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Man, I am so, so sorry. There was a runaway bus. And there were people in danger. I had to save it. Did you save everyone, Dad? I did. And that's all that matters. But Paul, I missed your wedding. This is the biggest day of your life. Hey, sometimes it happens. I mean, yeah, it was my wedding day, but if it meant saving people's lives, I think it's pretty selfish of me to want you here when you needed to be out there. So you don't hate me? You're not upset? No, and I'm sorry. I mean, I think I've just been really rude and selfish over the years, but, but I get it. Oh, Paul, there you are. Man, you're looking bigger every time I see you. Yeah, I'm just so happy. We're going to be able to be together and celebrate your 100th birthday. I uh, know, 100 years. Man, I'm getting old. No, you're not, Dad. You look like you're still 20. Ah! Help! Seems like something's going on. Yeah, and I think you need to go. Thank you, son. You! Stop right there! I have this explosive, and I'm going to punish the entire city and take it over! Everything will be mine! Maybe we can talk this out peacefully, son. You don't want to do anything rash. You're the one that has the rash, old man, from sitting in your chair all day and watching your story. <laughs> I've defended this city for years, and I'm not gonna let some punk destroy it! Oh, really? Well, then try and stop this. <laughs> oh no, the countdown! It's too short! I gotta keep flying! We're here today to pay respects to a fallen hero. Charlie was the hero that this city needed. He was the best of us, the best this city had to offer, and we must live on in his memory. I used to complain about my dad. I was selfish. All the time, he missed things in my life, and I just wanted him there. But I found out later down the line that he wasn't selfish. He was doing the most selfless thing a man could do, and that was to be there for others. He was a hero. He was my hero. There will be no one else like him. Hello, citizens of my new city. <laughs> I'm not gonna let some dumb old superhero ruin my plan this time. You! You're the one that my dad was fighting that night! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! Oh! What was that? You know, Paul, maybe this city has another hero after all. This car is totaled! The fire's out of control! We gotta put it out and fast! There's no one inside! Wait a second, what's this? Is that a baby? Yeah, it looks like it, I can't believe it! This baby must have survived! But who can take care of him? We gotta find someone! Alright, little guy, let's see if you got any family left! Oh no, it really is true! They're gone! Sorry, miss, but this little boy here, he was all that was left! Thank you! Thank you! Come on, dude, you think you're really gonna escape? You'll never catch me! Oh yeah? <laughs> Ouchie. Come on, Gary. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh, man. I've got to get out of here. All right, Gary. The police are on their way. Just try and stay out of trouble, okay? Okay, Spider-Man. All right. I hope Aunt May doesn't find out. Hey, Aunt May. Peter, you're late. I know. I'm really sorry. What has been up with you lately? You're so distant. What? Distant? No. no. What are you talking about? I just live upstairs. Oh, no, no, no. I know something's going on with you. And I do know that it is the anniversary of your parents passing. You can talk to me if you'd like. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I'm, I'm okay. I promise. Well, all right. If you insist, how about some dinner? Yeah, we'll have dinner for mom and dad. I think they'd like that a lot. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Mary Jane actually said she'd go on a date with me. All right, Peter, calm down. Don't be nervous. Or else she'll think you're weird. All right, time to make a good impression. Hey, Mary, um, Mary Jane, hi. Peter, so good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. <laughs> I'm not sure, but you need to go and hide, okay? Be safe, Mary Jane. Okay. All right, now's my time. Come on, Green. 
Goblin. You have to pick today out of all days? Green Goblin, enough's enough. Oh, are you kidding me? Spider-Man's here now? Come on. No matter where you go, Green Goblin, I'll find you and I'll stop you. Well, well, I'm on to you, Spider-Man. You're on to me? What does that mean? I'm gonna find out who you really are and I'm gonna destroy you and your family. I... <laughs> Yeah, all right, whatever, weirdo. You're never gonna find my family. I'm gonna make sure of it, huh? Ow, okay, I'm out of here. Ah. I'm glad Mary Jane got out of there safe. Green Goblin is not someone I want her to be around. Hey, hey, MJ. Peter, you left me. What? I, I didn't leave you. We just got separated. All that chaos and stuff? No, I turned around and you were gone. Where did you go? I, uh, just went to try and get some help. That's all. I heard Spider-Man showed up, though. Yeah. He did. But Peter, you've been acting really different lately. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Why? Why would you say that? You don't seem the same. Something's going on. Just tell me. Honestly, I've just been having a hard time lately. There you go. A little honesty. I can't help you if you won't let me in. I know, but this is something I have to deal with on my own. I, I can't let you in. I'm sorry. What? Well, if you can't let me in, then there's no point in this. I'm going inside. MJ, no, wait. No, no. Maybe we just need some time apart. MJ, no! Oh, come Come on. Oh, what am I gonna do now? Mary Jane probably hates me and doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Maybe I should just tell her my secret identity. Tell her that I'm Spider-Man. But if I do, I might put her in more danger. With the secret, it's getting harder and harder to keep it. Maybe I should just tell her. Well, I think that's a stupid idea. Whoa, Iron Man? No way. Man, I am a huge, huge fan. Huh, thanks, kid. Been watching you for a long time. You know, you got the makings of quite a hero. You might be an Avenger one day. Really? Ha, maybe. Who knows? I was out trying to get some information on the bad guy in town and I saw you. Oh, you did? You, uh, didn't hear what my identity was, did you? No, but more importantly, you need to be careful. That is a secret you have to keep. Not just for you, but for everyone else around you. Yeah, well, I want to tell Mary Jane who I really am. The secret is actually hurting her. I just don't know what to do. I don't want to lose her. Listen, if you care about her, you have to protect her from the world you live in. Trust me. Being a hero and being an Avenger is more dangerous than people think. I know, but I've got to do something. I can't keep hurting her like this. Wait a second. My spidey senses are tingling. I have to go. Oh, there's Mary Jane. Is she on a date? <laughs> John, that's so funny. <laughs> what a good story. Uh, yeah, I know, right? So funny. <laughs> well, she seems like she's really happy. Definitely happier with him than she is with me. I can't even trust my powers anymore. I hate that she's moved on. I love her so much, but I don't know what to do. My spidey senses were tingling. There has to be danger somewhere, but where? <laughs> Yeah, let's blow that up, and that up. <laughs> oh, there's the danger. Green Goblin. Spider-Man again. Get out of my way. No, enough is enough. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. Get back here, Spider-Man. All right, hold on tight. Let's go. Whoa. You won't escape me, Spider-Man. This isn't over. <laughs> I'm getting closer and closer to finding out who he is. All right, I think you're safe now. Thank you, Spider-Man. Yeah, no problem. Just doing my friendly neighborhood Spider-Man duties, you know? <laughs> There's something familiar about you. I don't know what it is. What, me? Uh, no, no, nothing familiar about me at all. I mean, you must see me on the news or something. I don't know. I feel like I've met you before. Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Stay safe, okay? Here you go, Mr. Jameson. Here are those photos of Green Goblin you asked for. About time, Parker! You're constantly late with these pictures! They weren't so good, I'd fire you! Yeah, you always say that. Who cares about these photos? Have you seen what's on TV? No, I haven't. Check this out! Breaking news! The Green Goblin has attacked the city once again! I mean, look at this burning building! How crazy is this? Oh, my sources tell me the Green Goblin has kidnapped a local woman named Mary Jane! Mary Jane? No! It seems the Green Goblin is out of control! When will Spider-Man get here? Ah, Spider-Man! Pathetic loser is what he is! Wait, Mary Jane! Don't you know that girl? Uh, yeah, but I think I'm starting to feel sick. Sick? Oh, no, you're not going anywhere this time, Parker! No, Mr. Jameson, I, I think I have to go. Parker, get back here! Wait, what is going on? Aunt May's house is on fire! Aunt May! Aunt May, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're okay! Peter, I'm so glad to see you! That crazy green goblin lit my house on fire! It was Green Goblin? Yes! Why? Why would he attack our home? I'm not too sure. He screamed something about Spider-Man. I was very confused. Yeah, that's kind of confusing too. Listen, I'm glad you're okay. Just stay here and wait for the police, all right? I have to go. No, no, Peter, where are you going? I, I've got to figure out what's going on. Peter, stay here with me. I need you here. I, I know, but I'm sorry. I have to go. Peter, 
Get her! Alright, if my spidey senses are right, this is the place. Just leave me alone, you freak. Oh, that's no way to talk to your local neighborhood green goblin, is it? I don't care. You're insane. You're out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your little boyfriend should show up anytime soon here. Look, you have the wrong person. You don't know my boyfriend, and he for sure doesn't know you. You know, Green Goblin, you've stooped to an ultimate low this time. Let the young lady go. Ha, so we meet again, Spider-Man. Or should I say, Peter Parker? What? Peter Parker? Uh, you got the wrong person. Peter, I've known you for your whole life. It was so easy to figure out who you were. Look, Green Goblin, I don't know what you're talking about, but you're gonna let Mary Jane go right now. Well, you have to get through me first. Ha, not a problem. Ha! Uh, ha! Ah! Oh! This isn't the end, spider oh. Mary Jane, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, come with me. I can't believe this, and you never thought to tell me. I was doing it to protect you, Mary Jane, I promise. No, you didn't protect me. If anything, you pushed me away, Peter. I know. I'm sorry. It was the hardest thing I had to do. I couldn't keep this secret anymore. I just can't believe that you lied to me. That's not okay. You're absolutely right. Lying to you was the hardest thing I had to do. I love you, and I want to be with you. Can we just put this behind us, you know? I don't know, Peter. I'm gonna need some time. I understand. Just know, Mary Jane, I am so, so sorry. You're my whole world, and I want to be with you. I can't believe it, Mary Jane. Today's the day we're actually getting married. This is so exciting. I've been waiting for this day. I love you so much. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> oh, no, it's Doc Ock. Peter, you have to do something. But it's our wedding. It can wait. Come on. All right. Really, Doc Ock, you choose today out of all days. <laughs> How convenient to have Spider-Man here. Oh, I go anywhere that people need protecting, especially from crazy supervillains with robot limbs. You'll regret that, Spider-Man. Prepare for your doom! Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this isn't the end, Spider-Man. I will return. Yeah, they always say that. Get lost, Doc Ock. All right, I think that's the last of the boxes. Look at this, Mary Jane. It's our first house. I know. This is so exciting. But Peter, I've been really wanting to talk to you about something. Yes, I agree. I'll put a backsplash in the kitchen, okay? No, 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 it's not that. It's more important. What is it? Well, I don't know if I want you to be Spider-Man anymore. Really? Mary Jane, where is this coming from? Well, I just don't want anything to happen to you, and this is a really dangerous job. I love you, and I want you in my life forever. Being Spider-Man could risk that. Mary Jane, nothing wrong is gonna happen, okay? I have you in my life, and I know what's important. I wouldn't do anything to risk that, or you. But Peter, you don't understand. I mean, we couldn't even get married without someone coming and almost hurting you. Look, Doc Ock is crazy, okay? No one but the Green Goblin knows who I am anyways. Yeah, that's true, but still, Peter. Not even the other heroes know who I am either. Mary Jane, everything is going to be fine. As long as Green Goblin is locked away, we'll be safe. I don't know. This is just a lot, and I don't want you to carry around this pressure anymore. Look, I know how much this upsets you, but this is my responsibility, and it's something I have to do. Oh, no. What is it? My spidey senses are tingling. Something is going down. I've got to go, okay? What? Peter! Rah, 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 rah. Oh, this is not good. My gosh, she's destroying everything! We need to get out of here! Hey there, big guy. Think we need to calm down a little bit, huh? No, Spider-Man! Hulk angry! I know, but none of this is worth it. Look, you're scaring all these people. You're a hero. You need to remember that. No! Hulk mad! Oh. Come on. You know you're big, but you can't run really fast. Come on, cut it out. Leave me alone, Spider-Man. Hulk, what is wrong, buddy? Why won't you listen to me? Hulk just so mad all the time. I just want to calm down, but it doesn't work. I know you're a good guy in there, Hulk, but destroying things and scaring people, it's not a good way to feel better. I don't like being like this. I want to help people, not hurt them. Well, it's okay now. No one is around and everything's going to be fine. Look, Hulk, we need to just chill out, okay? Thank you, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, you're a good friend. <laughs> Thanks, big guy. You're a good friend, too, when you're not throwing cars all over the place. Now take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go clean up that mess you just made. Oh, MJ, you would not believe it. The Hulk was just going absolutely insane downtown. There was such a mess I had to clean up. Wait, what's wrong? You look upset. Yeah, I am. You left us in the middle of a really important conversation. I, I did. Look, I'm really sorry. I love you. You can love me all you want, but that doesn't make me feel good. <sighs> 
Mary Jane, I hate to say it, but you also don't look good. Are, are you okay? No, this whole thing, it's eating me up and now my stomach is hurting and it's not good. All this stress is getting to me. Mary Jane, looks like you're gonna pass out. Maybe take it easy. Peter? Mary Jane! Peter! No, no, no. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. Come on, let's go. Everything's gonna be okay. Doctor, please tell me she's okay. Please. Well, the good news is that she is okay. She has a rare medical condition that should be treatable with medicine. Well, I guess that's good. At least it's an answer. Ugh, oh, it's such a relief. I was so worried. Yeah, the baby may have made it come out more. Wait, what did you say? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> baby? Wait, you two didn't know? Know what? You're pregnant with the baby boy. Uh, oh my gosh, Peter. Peter, we're gonna be parents. I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh, neither was I. This is so exciting. Oh no. Wait, no. Seriously, not now. Yes, now. This isn't good. I, uh, I gotta go. Chief, what's with all the commotion? The Green Goblin escaped our facilities again. Seriously? Come on. You guys know how dangerous he is. Look, man, I'm, I'm sorry. It just happened. How did this happen? He knocked out all the guards, and then before I knew it, he was gone. Ugh, this is not good. Now he's gonna be coming after me for sure, because I'm the one that put him in jail. Look, I'm sorry. Ugh, it's not your fault. It's okay, I know you did your best. And I'll do whatever it takes to get him back here. Thank you, Spider-Man. Oh, man, this is not good. Mary Jane is about to have a baby. Green Goblin knows who I am. Mary Jane is in trouble. I gotta get back to Mary Jane. I've gotta... No! No! Yeah! <laughs> I love the sight of fire on things. Goblin, stop right where you are. Ah, Peter Parker, we meet again. I had a feeling you were behind this. Look, your issue is with me, not with innocent people in this hospital. Well, you were right. My issue is with you. Take this. Ah, you. Ah. Hey, uh. Ow. Yeah, I bet that one hurt, didn't it? Yeah, okay, okay, I'm out of here. Wait, get back here. No, Mary Jane. Mary Jane, there you are. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Peter, glad to see you. Look, it's not safe here. Here, okay? You have to come home with me. I don't want to be out here. I really don't want to be left alone. Look, I understand, okay? But this cabin is in the middle of nowhere and everything's going to be fine. <sighs> Peter, see, this is why I want you to stop doing this. I want a normal life. We should be able to have that. I know. And everything will be normal once Green Goblin gets put back in jail, okay? He's the only one that knows who I am. And because of that, you're kind of in danger. So you have to stay here. I'm getting so tired of this. Look, all I have to do is catch him. And everything's going to be back to normal. That is a promise, Mary Jane. Well, and I also need you to promise that you're going to come back. And safely. I'm always going to come back. Don't worry. Just stay put, okay? I love Love you. <laughs> you know you're just laughing to yourself, right? Ah, Peter Parker, we meet again. Goblin, all of this has to stop right now. Now why would I do that? Because you belong back in jail, Goblin. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm not going down without a fight. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you're gonna get. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna tell everyone who Spider-Man really is, and then your life is over! That isn't gonna happen. I'm gonna protect my life and the people I care about. Oh yeah? Show me what you got! Ha! Oh! Alright, Goblin. It's time you go back to your dungeon. No way! You haven't seen the last of me! I cannot be late. I cannot be late for this! Mary Jane, I'm here! Just in time, Peter! Ow! Ma'am, you need to push! Okay, here we go! Ow! Ah! Congratulations! It's a healthy baby boy! Mary Jane, look at him! He's perfect! Wow, he really is! I love you, Mary Jane, so much! This is the happiest day of my life! Mine too! Welcome to the family! Alright, Ben, all you have to do is focus and just aim perfectly! You'll, you'll get the hang of it! Okay, let me give it a shot! Here goes nothing! Uh, ow! Uh, come on! Oh, Ben, don't get upset! You just have to keep practicing! All of this will come with time! Oh, but you already have it down! How am I supposed to catch up? You'll catch up eventually! Took me a while to learn, too. This is the worst. I'm never going to be like you. You're Spider-Man. Look, everything will work out the way it's supposed to be. And if you keep trying and you don't want to do it anymore, then you don't have to be Spider-Man. But I think you just need some more practice. Whatever, Dad. Ben, come on. Don't get angry. This is so stupid. I'm never going to get this. Oh, hey, MJ. Man, it was a hard day at work today. Yeah, was it? How did our son do? Well, he's getting a little better, but he keeps getting frustrated and he wants to give up. Well, maybe you should let him. I don't know if I want him to be a superhero. Really? You don't? No, not at all. It's dangerous. Look, I don't really know if I want him to be one either, but he told me that it was his dream. I don't want him to give up on that. It's his dream? Ugh. Yeah, this makes it more tough. I just really don't want to see him get hurt. Of course not. Wait, what? What's this news story about? Breaking news! Doc Ock 
has apparently captured the son of Spider-Man. Does not look good for this guy. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have let him go off on his own. Doc Ock must have grabbed him. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I've got to go get him. I'll be right back. Dad, there you are. Ben! <laughs> I knew you would come here, Peter. Of course I would. You're going to let my son go right now. I'm not letting him go without a fight. Look at this. Your father is weak. He's getting older. The years aren't very kind to you, Spider-Man. Yeah, well, you're getting old, too. Ah! Oh! So old, I can knock you out like nothing. All right, Ben, glad you're safe. Thanks for saving me, Dad. What happened? Well, I tried to fight him on my own, but he got a hold of me. Look, you can't be fighting crime on your own yet. You can barely swing a web. I know. I'm sorry, Dad. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's head home. Your mother is worried sick. All right, enough is enough. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, old man? Let's go. Uh, uh, what a joke. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, wait, get back here. Oh, um, ow. oh, come on, Peter, pull it together. Oh, this really hurts. Oh, no, no, this isn't good. Uh, I gotta call Mary Jane. Mary Jane, I think something is wrong. Oh, Ooh, Mary Jane, I am really worried. This isn't good. Just sit tight, Peter. The doctor will come in any minute now. Ow. Well, this is crazy. <laughs> your body has so many injuries, I'm wondering how you're still functioning. This is a miracle. Wait, really? Oh, is there anything that I can do? Well, you're just getting old, so whatever you're doing to get these injuries, stop it, obviously. Just stop? But I can't stop. Well, what's more important than your life? What do you even do for a living anyway? I am, um, uh, um... He's a rock climber. <laughs> he goes every weekend. It's crazy I've told him to stop a million times. Isn't that right, Peter? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It drives her crazy. <laughs> I guess the last fall really uh, got to me, huh, Doc? You bet it is. My goodness, you are way too old to be climbing rocks. That's for children. You need to stop. Get with it, man. Oh, y yeah. Maybe I should just stop. Are you kidding me? Peter, this is insane. You need to take care of yourself. Mary Jane, Ben is out there by himself. Taking on all those crazy villains, fighting all that crime. He needs my help. But didn't you listen to the doctor? You are getting too old for this. You're your body can't handle it. Hey, I'm not that old. There's still some kick in me. No, not really. I mean, you were in the hospital like two minutes ago. Oh, look, I promise I will be safe, okay? I have to make sure our son can handle this. He can handle it, Peter. You also have to take care of yourself. I've survived this long against massive supervillains, the world almost ending. I've got this, all right? Okay. Whatever you say. Oh, I sense something's going on. Man, I have to go. Ben might be in trouble. You know what? I'm not too old for this. Like I said, I've still got this in me. Nothing's gonna stop me. Ow! Ooh! Ow! My back! Ooh! Well, well, well. If it isn't Spider-Man. Or should I say, Grandpa Man. Who are you? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Don't worry about it. I just heard you were washed up, so I came to take a look for myself. I am not washed up. Spider-Man is still here. What are you doing? I'm here to take you out. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Time to put the old man to bed. Good night, Spider-Man. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ah! Oh. Uh, ben, <laughs> just in the nick of time like always, huh? Yeah, Dad, are you okay? What the heck happened? Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, I could have handled that guy. Ow, ooh. Man, it's funny. What's so funny, Dad? Look at you. I used to be the one saving your neck all the time, and now you're saving me. Well, it's all thanks to you. I learned it all from you, and I'm glad I listened. Yeah, I'm glad you listened, too. You wanted to give up on this. Look at you now. Yeah, I guess you're right. I did save the day. Well, everything's fine now. Let's head home. Yeah, let's do that. I really did have that guy, though. All right, Dad. Remember this place, Mary Jane? Oh, my goodness, yes. It's the cabin that you took me all those years ago. Exactly. This was your safe house. You know... As much as I dragged my feet, I sure am glad things worked out the way they did. So am I. I'm glad you stuck by my side all these years, even though I was stubborn. I love you, darling. I love you, too. You know, it wasn't easy. You're a difficult man. <laughs> I know, I know. Look at our grandson now. He is Spider-Man, out protecting the city, saving the day like his old grandpa. So great to see the family legacy. And you get to spend time with me now. Uh, more more than ever. <laughs> <coughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> oh. Ooh, 
Darling, are you okay? Um, no, no, I actually do not feel well at all. Uh, do you think we could head to the <laughs> hospital? <laughs> yes, 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 of course. Come, come, let's get in the car. Mary Jane, my love, I miss you so, so much. I would have never been the Spider-Man I was without you. I don't know how I'm going to be now, but I know you're watching, probably telling me to take it easy and to take care of myself, and I'll do that for you, I promise. You helped raise a generation of Spider-Man. You were the best thing that has ever happened to me. You took a chance on this crazy kid and my life wouldn't have been the same without you. Stop! Please, he's a criminal! <laughs> Way too easy. To uh, hey, what the- And too easy to catch. Oh, old Spider-Man. That's right. Dude, you're ancient. What are you doing? I might be a hundred years old, but I'm always gonna protect this city. It's who I am.